Ready to fight. Ready. All right, let us get this round underway. A lot of high balls on the Massachusetts native Calvin Cater tonight as I break into a little bit of a Boston accent there. I know Cater's still sort of upset with the way that Josh Emmett decision went. But on any given Saturday night, Cater can be one of the best featherweights in the world. And if he can get a win tonight and ideally get a knockout, his next fight could very well be for the UFC featherweight title. No surprise, DC, to see Calvin Cater try to establish that jab here. Is that New England cartel boxing? Calvin Cater, Rob Font. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Single collar tie now. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. And there's that kicking game from Yair Rodriguez on full display early on in this one tonight. Yeah, Yair Rodriguez is a beast. And you know when you watch him, when you're going into the octagon with him, you've got to always be on high alert because he can hit you from anywhere. And a lot of times, it comes from those kicks, those very diverse, scary, dangerous, challenging to understand kicks that he throws. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Gaia Rodriguez. Block that punch. Oh, short uppercut in the clinch by Calvin King. Clean punch. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Rodriguez gets caught by the straight punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fracture. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't going to get the job done tonight. He did not address it early enough. And there's that elbow blocked by Kate. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing his whole life. Yeah, and I mean, it's popping over and over. He's throwing it, and he's a boxer, so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance, so it's not so about the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Rodriguez knows he's bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Oh! Oh, he is hurting for certain. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh! Stay relaxed. Stay relaxed and breathe. Look for the setup, okay? Punch over the top. Oh! Crowd 
continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. The swelling on his face is extreme at this point in time. I'm not sure that the doctor's going to let him continue here. Cut man hustling in, and he's going to apply that end swell quickly. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. Ready, fight. Ready. Here we are, early round two. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never. Oh, oh, what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his corner, but he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, it's a good right hand right there. Oh. All right, so the referee has called a halt to the action here, likely to have the doctor come in. And look at the swelling around that eye. Not good, DC. You cannot allow these fighters to dictate and determine whether or not they can go. When you have this type of swelling, you got to take a close look to see if the guy can compete. Nope. That's not, it. Nope. Not, not able to let him. That's the right call. That eye was essentially closed. You can't compete with one eye unless you're Michael Bisping. And uh, <laughs> that's the end of the fight. And not everybody's Michael Bisping. Not everybody's that tough. Not everybody's that durable. But this guy could not see. He had one eye and it was only gonna get worse for him. All right, so the doctor stoppage comes in the middle of this round and ultimately too much damage sustained to that eye and he was unable to continue. Well, you saw it over the course of the fight. The swelling got worse and worse and over time, the referee has to truly think about the well-being of the fighter. In doing that, called in the physician, physician came and took a look and you see the decision that was made. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight, declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Yeah, El Patera Rodriguez. All right, so how about the effort out of Yair Rodriguez here tonight? This is a plus athlete. He's got a penchant for being flashy, no doubt about it, but he found a home for those kicks early and often here tonight as he continues to prove that he is a featherweight force to be reckoned with. And you got to think, before Rodriguez's career is said and done, he will have earned an opportunity to compete for that UFC featherweight title.